Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Profile Tech. Today I wanted to go over some Connectwise RMM stuff, looking at specifically suspending some alerts. Let's get into it. So once you log into Connectwise RMM, your screen will look very similar to mine if you haven't already changed your default workspace. The default is going to be devices under computers here, very similar to what we've got on screen here. To get to suspending alerts, you'll come down to alert management, come down to suspension. I have set up this one here just to save us some time to click through. What you want to do is give it a name that makes sense to you. You can call it a maintenance cycle. Um, just turn off all alerting for these agents, however you want that to be set up. This is very similar to a maintenance cycle, but not one for one exactly. So on the top right, we have the resources we want to target. In this case, I want all agents in our environment turned off. I don't want any alerts, but if I just wanted a client or a specific maintenance mode period where I don't want any alerts for any reason, you can all the way go down to a computer or you can just pick a site or dynamic group down here, whatever is your preference. If you do select all future sites, it selects everything you have currently and anything you will add in the future. So hit select and the schedule here, make sure you do set your time zone to whatever you need that schedule to be at. It will initiate based on your current time zone you're setting. Example being if I'm on Eastern time and I wanna set something for uh, Pacific time, I would set this to for Pacific time and then set the time in that time zone that I want the time to start and stop. In this case, I'll just use Eastern. Since I'm just turning off alerting, I will pick today's date I will set the time just any time of day is arbitrary, but if you do set it later than it is currently, then it won't kick into effect until that time. And then the end date, I want this to always turn off alerting. So forever and a day, just don't ever alert me on anything that I want selected. So I have never otherwise, if you were setting up a maintenance mode to suspend alerting between two periods of time, then if, depending on how you want that maintenance mode to work, if it's just a short time frame, this is where you would pick the day and time. So if I wanted just a week, I would say start this time and end a week later. And then during that time, I'm either not getting alerts or you know whatever I have for suspended alerts because I want it forever or a recurring forever maintenance mode, I'll say never. This recurrence down here, if you click the little calendar icon, if you were setting up a true maintenance mode every night between 4 a.m. and 10 a.m., you didn't want alerts for some reason, you would say every one day between the hours of 4 a.m. and 10 a.m. here, and then it would continue to do that and never stop continuing to do that. Otherwise, you could set an end date, which is always nice. Looking at the suspended conditions at the bottom here, now this is what you want to avoid. So these are all of the Intellimon alerts. So the default monitoring package that comes with ConnectWise RMM. You can set this and you'll set this back when you create the monitor to any custom alert and you can turn those on or off, but you do have to suspend each one individually. So if you want all Intellimon alerts and all custom monitors, you have to do two separate suspension policies. Just a heads up. So inside of here, we have everything selected, but if I only wanted Active Directory alerts, because that's the most annoying to me, for example, and I don't want any of these, I can just check that box. So I would just check Active Directory, and then anything in there would be inherited, or like DHCP, for example. You can select as many or as few as you'd like. If you want everything, you just check the box next to families at the top. The term families is synonymous with category of the monitor or type. So I'm gonna select everything because I want no alerting from any monitor ever that's considered an Intellimon starting today at 12.45 p.m. Once I have all of that in place, give it a quick name that makes sense. And then a description ideally helps you. So if I were to leave this into effect, I would say something like turning off all monitors because I don't want any alerts, something like that. If you come back in a year from now, you have an understanding of why it was put in place. Lastly, hit save. And then you'll get a summary of what that looks like on the right hand side here. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvelTech.com. 
There's a link in the video description below.